the Zunig or Purple Streetlights in Kansas City. Video, I don't know, 293 is my guess. So, um, actually, I might have recorded, it might be 294. There's another one, though, that's kind of weird because I recorded and then I got lost. But I recorded that before another one. I haven't uploaded all of them yet. This might be 295, but uh, it's kind of embarrassing when I don't know the way or my car just gets to be really crappy. It's not much of a video, but uh, maybe to be complete, it might include the other ones as well. And I don't remember what I said. I numbered the other one if I did uh, upload the other one, but um, for the most part, I don't, I don't skip videos. I never skip videos just if it doesn't prove my point or something like that. If I did skip a video, it's because it was just a really short video or something. It was just, for some reason, like my car was overheating or something like that. Anyway, um, I am getting on to I-670 here. By the way, this is just to document where the street lights are, the road work, etc. Those kinds of things, because I think uh, it's interesting when you put them on a map, where they keep being... And I want to know what the motives for those things, like where they're set up. And I, I can see some of them. I can see some reasons why they're there, like, or some kinds of correlations, at least. And I think that's important for you to look at. Particularly with the purple street lights. Um, I can see some purple street lights um, at a location. Actually, no, it's not one. To my right here, I'm looking down from I-670 to the south, and I just can't show it to you right now because I'm going around a bend here. But we're gonna come up on the um, Hennessy Wyoming ramps here. Exit 420 something, I think. Let's see. Oh, but first we gotta just get on 670. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Anyway, I'm going to get off of that exit, and I want to explore and see uh, to where some other purple streetlights are that I can see visually. They're also in the same topographic trough along, like, the Kansas River, I think, but that I have not found yet. I, mean, I have not actually found where they are yet, but I can see them, again, near the river and in the trough or on the edge of the trough, to, topography-wise. That means, like... Those lights are in places where chemicals were dropped that will just keep draining into the river. Like if there was like a chemical attack with like purple rain, like the prince is singing about, like the organophosphates, which Google would tell me told me before, because I saw purple rain written in comments, like typed in comments, like about the purple street lights before. I'm like, what is that? Um, and I already had thought that the purple streetlights had something to do with evacuating, and I thought that would be bad. And I thought the only time that would really matter to, like, for instance, what I thought back then, with like bombing the road or something like that, would be really bad if there was a chemical kind of problem already in the air. Because you'd want to leave the chemical gas or whatever, and you wouldn't be able to leave, right? If those areas got struck in a city. Otherwise, like, what's the point in bombing the roads? Because eventually people will walk out and leave, right? So what would be the point in doing that, right? Well, I don't think that's what they meant exactly. I think it's for like, I don't know. If you just look at the combina some of the combinations of things that Twisted Luck Truth talks about, like rockets or NASA and their launching stuff, um, purple streetlights, um, chemtrails, things like that and just you think about you put some of those things together it's kind of interesting anyway i refer to you i referred that because i don't think i'm necessarily the only person that thinks that way that that thinks there's something wrong about this kind of stuff anyway i think they might be a for like a guided weapon that's chemical that's my opinion right now about why these parts see how we're going down already like this is a dip topographically now obviously this is really a dip right here because this is coming off of the, the interstate. But still, this is at a topographic trough, and that's where they have these purple streetlights, guys. It's the same thing again, and again, and again, and again. Just keep paying attention to where they are. Water is gonna follow a path from up ahead of us, where it's at a higher elevation, 
like with snow melt or rain or whatever and it's going to come and wash down here and wash the chemicals from this area into the river okay not only that but north of here um maybe just with a slight actual westward component though um there's an airport so it wind from this location um sometimes would be blowing in that direction okay <coughs> um even like directly north of here there's an area and even along the actual um south south southeast path of the most frequent wind there's an area where that's like all about transit like cars can park there presumably before maybe they go to the airport or something i'm not sure what, what it's actually for but um there is a whole lot full of vehicles or maybe that's like a like a um some kind of i don't know plant for cars i can't remember what it is you can look it up on the map and see what i'm talking about um, I'm going to pause this video, guys, because I want to stop here, okay? Hold on.